I'm Bob Harris, the president of the Decorative Concrete Institute. When it comes to working with a non-breathable system like 100% solids epoxy or a high solids polyurethane, you better understand the importance of not only preparing your concrete surface properly with the right profile, but you also need to understand the correlation that moisture has relative to a non-breathable system. Two ways that we check for uh, uh, MVER, which stands for Moisture Vapor Emission Rate, is what we call the tape down test. But generally you take a clear piece of 6 mil visqueen, 16 inches by 16 inches, you find an inconspicuous area and you totally seal the perimeter of this uh, plastic. So you tape it down, making sure that you're using a non-breathable tape, such as duct tape, and what you're doing is totally sealing the outside perimeter of your plastic. In order for this test to conform to that specific ASTM standard, this test needs to stay down for a minimum of 16 hours. When you come back 16 hours later or the next day, you simply peel back your plastic. And what you're looking for is you're checking to see if condensation has formed on the under uh, part of the plastic or if there's a big dark square, which is an indicator that there's excessive moisture. The next test kit that we use is called a calcium chloride test and again this is an actual ASTM standard. It's a pretty neat little test because it's all self-contained. It comes ready to use and in the kit you get a variety of applications. Number one you get the instructions and it'll give you a formula inside. You don't need to remember the formula because it is a fairly long formula but you need to read the uh, instructions. Very important. So you'll notice right here it gives you on this test kit it says dry weight and it says 33 and the 33 represents grams and then it'll say the start time so you would monitor your start time it'll say the end time and the finished weight and the number here so you simply come over and you take the lid off be very careful uh, on an unsealed portion of the concrete and then you'll notice just like uh, the tape down test where we use duct tape to seal the perimeter we're also going to seal the perimeter with this adhesive backed tape making sure no moisture can get either in or out and you simply stick it down to the surface in order for this uh, test kit to conform to that ASTM standard this needs to stay down for a minimum of 60 hours and no longer than 72 hours you can see in this self-contained box you simply fold it over and you see the words caution you put the tab through here tab through here and you simply place it over the test kit and this is an indicator that you are in fact uh, conducting a test caution and one last tip is go ahead and put a piece of tape here to hold it into place so nobody kicks it out of place. Another important aspect of this self-contained kit is what we call the pH test and a lot of applicators in the decorative arena don't understand the importance of understanding pH and, and why that's important pH level of the concrete, and by the way, uh, concrete, just the inherent nature of concrete has a pH of probably somewhere between 8 and 10 is the natural pH uh, of the concrete. pH is uh, neutral, that is considered a 7. Water is a pH of neutral 7, that would be uh, neutral. But what we do is we simply put a, roughly a 1 to 2 inch diameter of water on the concrete. We submerge the tip of this test tab for about one second is all it takes. Then we pull it out there and then uh, it'll change colors and once it changes colors we simply align it right over to here. We're shooting for a pH of somewhere around 7 before we uh, uh, apply our epoxy coating. Remember, to get the most out of your tools, use them properly and more importantly, use them safely. I'm Bob Harris.